In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the image zoom content boxes by Unlimited Elements for Elementor Page Builder. To start off, I'm going to search for image zoom content box in the widgets pane and let's drag that inside of my empty section over here inside of the column. So this is how it looks. It's just a sub subtle hover effect whenever you hover with your mouse and some text and a call to action button. So now I'm going to duplicate this column. So right click duplicate and right click duplicate again, just so we have a really nice layout over here. And I'm going to take you over the settings over here. So in general, we have a section for the title, so you can change the title, the description text, and you can link this to whatever you want. The next part is the button. Inside of the button, we have button text and button style. So button text is for the text over here. Let's just change that to learn more. And you can change the style to not show the button at all if you don't want a button just like that, or you can make the button full width. So it looks like that. So I'm just gonna turn that back into inline. And the next settings are inside of the style tab. Inside of the style tab, we can change the alignment to left, center, or right if we want. So let's just leave that at left. We can change the background color. As you can see, the background color over here is a white color. You can change that to any color you want. Image height, you can play around with the height and the image will adapt accordingly. You don't need to crop it or anything like that. It will happen automatically also in responsive mode, of course. And over here, you can also determine the height in each screen resolution. Title spacing is the space between the title and uh, the top part of the image over here. So you can space that out. Same thing you have with the description. So that's above the description. You can space that out. And we have padding around the content area. So I'm just going to play around with that and push everything inside a little bit. Let's say 40 pixels. Looking good. Next thing I'm going to do is jump into button styles. Over here we have the button background color. We can change that to whatever color we want. Let's go for this blue color we have a button hover background color. Let's change that to this light blue. We can make our button rounded. So I'm just gonna round our button totally over here. And button spacing is the space between the description and the button. Button padding will change how big the button is. So I'm just gonna unlink the values over here. And I'm going to add 40 pixels on the left and right. That will make my button a bit wider. And you can play around with this. And then we'll just change the proportions of the button. Button color is the color for the text. And button color hover is the text color. I'm just not going to change that. Or let's maybe just change the hover color to something darker. So you can just see that. The next sections are for typography. Title typography, description typography, and button typography. I'm just going to show one of these since it's really simple. I'm just going to jump into this one. Click Enable Styles so it will be enabled. And over here we can change the font family to whatever we want. Change the size if you want it a little bit bigger. And now we're satisfied with our design. So now we can copy the design by clicking right click copy and paste style that will paste just the style without taking any of the content great that looks good and let's just see how this looks when we select different kinds of images now it doesn't matter what size the image is as i said before this widget knows to adapt accordingly so look how cool that is look how fast we created a really cool layout everything is editable and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video.